welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing an Atlantean Warrior special effects makeup as on the weekend I entered a body painting competition. To start out I am just gluing down a bald cap. I didn't actually use a bald cap, I used a swim cap as I wanted to have an elongated head kind of shape. So I'm just spirit gumming that down around all the sides that are touching the skin. I left the ears in to sort of create an alien-esque kind of shape to the head. Now I'm just gluing down the brows because I didn't want brows in my final look because I thought they would make it look a little weird if I had them in. I figured underwater people wouldn't actually have brows as they wouldn't have things falling into their eyes. Just smooth them out a little bit. Remove any excess glue that may have gotten onto the skin. Now I am just powdering the brows to kind of set that glue a little bit better. And now I'm just filling in again with a little bit of extra glue where there were some gaps. I stuffed up and I added some super colour to the face before I actually glued down the prosthetic. So I actually stopped doing this. Now I'm gluing down the prosthetics that I made out of cardboard and special effects gelatin. I use the Cryolan Gel Fix, I'm pretty sure it's called. And just melted it and poured it over the cardboard and created these shapes. They kind of look like bad ears at the moment, it's quite funny. So I'm just applying Prosade cream to the edges to try and blend them out a little bit. This just helped a tiny bit to soften them, but my edges were a little bit too harsh and you could see them anyway. Now time for the cheek prosthetics. I did the same process with the cardboard and gelatin. Just lining it up on the other side to make sure that it's equal. <laughs> And I decided to do two more little face flaps as it sort of evened out the look and balanced it a bit better. Just spirit gumming the back fins to stick to the bald cap, but they came unstuck a lot during the night, so it didn't really matter that much. So just going over with the Prosade cream again to blend the edges. Going in with the Cryol and Cream Liner in black, it was amazing. It stayed on all night and I didn't have to reapply it at all. I'm now covering the lid in the same gel liner in an elongated wing kind of shape. I'm now kind of blending out the edges with some black eyeshadow from Napoleon. Not sure of the name of it. I'm going in with Purple Haze from Napoleon as well, just to sort of match into the purple bodice that I was doing. To cover that brow a little bit more, I went over with the White Cream Liner by Cryolan and it literally saved my life. I could not cover those brows because they were so dark. Adding a bit of teal out of the Crown Brush Shimmer Palette, it really helped blend in with all the other colours that were going on in the body. I just smoked out the under eye with a bit of black and purple haze again by Napoleon. Just applying super colour all over the face 
as I found this is a better base for the face than just normal water based uh, face paint. Just going in with a tiny brush to fill in any of the cracks that I may have missed and to get close to the eyes. As it is a grease paint, I needed to set it with powder and I used the HD powder by Cryolan. Now I'm just going over the bald cap with a water activated paint and a kabuki brush. It was very hard to cover completely, so I did a coat of hairspray and tried to cover it again, but I don't think my hairspray was completely dry and it went a bit streaky. I started to cover it with teal and this is where it went a little bit patchy. As you can see, those face fins were really giving me trouble and kept unattaching from the sides of the head, but it didn't really matter in the end. Just winging out the eyes that little bit more and applying some more of the cream eyeliner by Cryolan. Just letting that dry before my model opens her eyes. Now I'm contouring the nose with the purple haze and bringing out a triangular shape from the inner corner to the cheek. I also used the teal again from the 35 crown brush palette pretty sure it was the shimmer palette and making a triangle kind of diamond shape down the center of the forehead. Also contouring some of the little wrinkles that appeared in the cap. We disappeared and we airbrushed on some scaly texture onto the bald cap. I'm now applying little gelatin irregular kind of spots that I made just by adding blue food colouring to the gelatin when it was still hot and I just set them on a plastic mat so I could peel them off. I'm attaching them with spirit gum and they stayed there pretty much all night, only one or two of them fell off. I added a little bit of the teal shadow again around the edges just to sort of not make it look so stuck on and to blend them into the white that little bit. I am now removing the super colour off the lips as it would make it hard to keep the lipstick on. I applied a purple lip liner and I decided I didn't like that as much but I did like the slight purple tinge it created when I added the Lime Crime Pearlies blue colour, I'm not sure of the exact name of it. And then in the centre of the lips I used one of the NYX metallic eyeliners and created an ombre effect. I really wanted to add really spiky lashes but I couldn't find any so I just drew them on with one of my eyeliners. I'm now applying the lashes that I got from Wasp Hair Extensions Place in Perth. Um, they're just these really big blue fan out lashes that kind of, yeah, they're just really pretty. You can see what they look like. I'm now applying spirit gum to the center of the forehead so I could attach some bling that I made. And this is the completed face look that I did. I did do a complete body paint, so that's why the shoulders are done. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so happy about it and I really enjoyed the night, even though I was stressing like a crazy person. 
I ended up coming third in the competition and I'm really stoked about that because this is my first full body paint and it was such an amazing experience. My model was great and she is a pleasure to work with. And we have a bit of fun. So yeah, this is my final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive notifications every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!